hey guys, we're uh, going on a bit of a road trip, we're away in the van. Um, any idea where we're going? Camping space for the evening, uh, the drum in. Ashford's about a 15 minute drive from the entrance to the tunnel. All hard standing. Yeah, it's bits of grass they use over there in the summer. Uh, yeah, predominantly hard standing. Quite like that. <laughs> There's a shower room here. Somewhere to drop your, your waste toilet before you, you head off. It's a shower block, washing area, all mixed up. But it's fairly basic, but does the job for an overnight. Showers in there. Well, I was saying, I guess during the summer it'd be a, quite a nice place to stop over. It's a, a reasonable sized field. Uh, just follow the gang into the pub. We're going to go and have some dinner. Some days there's no one else who loves me like you used to. Some days I'm not myself. There's no one I can turn to And I know All the feelings that we shared are in the past mm -hmm. And I know Your relationships are never meant to last Guys, Denise, Henry Drumming Ashford <laughs> Boarding on the shuttle complete. <laughs> ah, the benefits of lithium. <laughs> Brewing up on the Euro tunnel using electric. <laughs> Oh, there we go, final approach to Disneyland Paris. I'll just make my way over here to the left. It appears to be where we need to go. We'll try and talk our entire way through this so that we can cover everything on the way in in a camper because there's not a great deal available to explain well, certainly not that we could find uh, coming through here, so I'll just be quiet for a minute while we pay for our parking for the day. Oh, it's the machine. Yeah. Okay, that's us paid. So parking for the night's 40 euros. Is it 40 or 45? 40 euros for the night and then from what I'm led to understand we are over to the far right hand side here for camping cars you can't quite see because I've got the camera I've not got the camera around but if I can just pan a little bit for you those on the left there are the solar parking bays and I think we park underneath those 
So straight up here for us. You can see the campers, there's a few of them parked outside, which is what we plan to do because we want our solar to charge our batteries up. So what we're actually going to do is we're going to go up to the, the toilet area first. If you're travelling with people and you've been in the van a couple of days, you may want to to uh, empty your toilet before you go and park up. So we're going to go and do that first. We'll show you where that is. It's a while since we've been here, so a lot, a lot of things have changed. It used to just be up here on the left-hand side, so I'm hoping that it still is. That used to be the coach over on the left used to be the coach and toilet shower block apparently that's no longer used oh it is it's in there okay right so just on the left hand side there so you can pull in and you can drop your waste In here. Okay, all, all the nasting is taken care of. We can, uh, you can see, it's, that's all camping car parking. So there's plenty under there. I think there's only a few open currently. Um, we're going to go around. I want to actually park. Uh, oh, there's a few at the top actually. I might go up there as well and have a look. Um, there's um. There's a few different parking spaces. We'll, uh, we'll go and see. Okay, just a bit further up as well. So this is after the dropping off at the toilet area. This is on the left. Uh, we're not going to stop here. We're just coming up here so we can let you have a look. I'm going to come round near the um, near the bus parking. The reason we're not stopping here is because it's near the travelators and you can hear the music all day and all night. Yeah, apparently the, the Disney music plays constantly and drives you absolutely bonkers and that's not really what I want to do. So we're just going to spin round and we'll go all the way back down um, to the main area. Decisions, decisions. We're, uh, we're moving down a bit further. We're trying to park in the best area that we can. Uh, so that we can't hear traffic, we can't hear music. Uh, we'll drive right through and let you have a, have a look through. Alright, yeah. Yeah, so in that coach area we've just seen a sign that said no motorhomes allowed. I'm not entirely sure that they'd stop you. There's a few parked in there and it's not really a, an overly busy time of the year. I mean the park's quite empty. We'll go in and have a look anyway. Do we need to scan in? Um, which is the way in? Yeah, it's that way. Oh, that's a tight turn. <laughs> round a roundabout, that's a tight turn if you're coming from the direction we've just come from. I'm only in a long wheelbase crafter and there's definitely, I wouldn't have gotten round there. Oh, there you go. It's opened and let me in. You need to put your ticket in. Tell you what we'll do, we'll have a drive up and let you have a look at the underneath the arrays. So, but if like us, you want to use your solar, uh, parking underneath those panels is probably not the best thing in the world. We'll follow all the way up and go around to the left. There's a half a dozen vans that are parked out. Um, 
where where we can get some use of the sun when it finally makes an appearance because it's actually raining at the moment. Definitely one of the um, sol solar-friendly parking spaces for us, I think. Um, right. Yeah, look, I've got everybody in here pointing and telling me this is where they want to park, so looks like this is where we're parking. Uh, I believe everything will work okay, though. I'll take you for a walk around in a little bit as well and, and give you a, a walking version. Okay, so we found a bit of a parking space out in uh, the area that's not covered by a canopy. Parts with a couple of vans, a couple of UK vans here as well. As you can see. It's not a bad space. But if you walk over here, This is where the solar arrays are. There's a fair few vans under here. I don't think everywhere is currently open, but it's um it's a massive area, but as soon as you walk under here. No sunlight, no solar. Just walk across the car park from the van. We're under the solar array, so we're parked over there. Uh, a bit of a time stamp as well as to how long it takes to get from there to the main entrance and also to the point where you can collect your parking ticket every day. We're going to go into <coughs> the village and get some dinner tonight. Night one, we're not in the park until tomorrow, so we'll have a bit of a walk up, get some food, go in the shops. It's a lot of space here for vans. It really is. But it's great bin points everywhere as well. So we've got general waste, I guess. Plastic cans and, and then glass recycling. All that over there's that's all car parking. And this is all all under these solar arrays. It's absolutely massive. None of this was here last time I was here. I'm assuming that's for camping cars as well. Or, yeah, I think it is because, I'll just poke this over the top, the coach parking's up there. And we're going to walk past there in a bit so you'll be able to have a look. But There you go, zebra crossing. The gang's in the, in the video. Hey, hi. Hi. <laughs> hey, Mo. Morgan, Logan. Hi, Ray. Hi. <laughs> Dawn's refusing to get in the video. I'll say hi. This appears the, the travelators are turned off at the moment. But we, uh, you'll be able to hear this the music that plays all day and night and if you are unwise enough to park along any of these bays you'll get to hear this for the entire time that you're, you're in your van parked up 
I'm not sure why these are not travel letters are not working. They're um, definitely out of action. I don't know whether they're being repaired or whether it's just the time of year, but yeah, there you go. Listen, we're under the canopy. Can you imagine? Three and a half minutes to you. I'm gonna stop the video, otherwise you're gonna get really bored. And, and I'll catch you up when we're a few minutes further along. <laughs> That's four minutes later, and I've found working travelators. <laughs> So that's about from where I'm parked and I'm right at the back of the car park. I don't know. A slow six minute walk to the front entrance. So it's really surprising. Car park looks full, but last time I was there there were barely any parking spaces and it's empty. And even the coach park. A lot of people in the park tonight. I'm thinking that uh, maybe we should have gone in the park tonight. Very quiet. Look at you two. Okay, off the end of, end of the escalator. Now when you're walking up, that's the animal care centre there. So you're in there every morning to get your ticket for your parking. There's a set toilet here. And then down there, we're another 200 yards, I guess. Another travelator. Uh, and then that takes us along around the corner. Parks are facing you. And Disney Village is on your left. I'll pick it up in a minute. What? Well, hi there. Disney. Disney? Are you pleased about being in Disney? Yeah, I am. Are you really? Are you sure? Are you yeah. happy about it? Don't tell me, tell the camera. Are you happy, right? <laughs> <laughs> then it's a bit like being on the small world for 15 minutes look we'll just record her dancing as well that should make great uh, great footage do that again <laughs> there we go so we're just around the last bend off the last of the travelators see there there's a picnic area over there if that's your thing and then Disney Studios. That's the train station over on the right hand side. I yeah, guess overall you are, I don't know, 10 minutes walk up here and you're from the very back of the car park to the, to the front entrance. Hogan's favourite. Don't even. I hate it. No, you don't. Yes, I do. A lot of these boards in place. It's like there's quite a lot of renovation going on. Is that the one thing I made? So much closed off as well. These um, green boardings are everywhere. And this is the, now the entrance used to walk straight around this massive area. It's all closed now, so we're either through the shop or walk around the corner for the shop. Disney store. Mm -hmm. A 
walking around the side, it's closed off. I'm doing that store if you want. It's cost me a fortune. I'll try it on this place if it's any cheaper. Right. <laughs> yeah, this is now the main walk to um, the Disney Village. Loads of renovation going on. So it's a lot of stuff. is empty. It's, I'll just check, 8am and we're walking up to get our uh, parking ticket for the day. It's a bit of a pain that you've got to walk up here every morning to get one. You could buy it in the evening for the following day or something. But rules is rules. 8am and this bloody music's on already. I'm quite sure <laughs> it's been it's been on all night. And I think, as I said yesterday when we were walking up here, yesterday evening for dinner, don't park anywhere from. I'll just cross over and show you. G31. Upwards, because anywhere near these canopies, appears to have Disney music on all night. Not sure I could cope with that. It's a nice day today. It's going to be really warm. So we'll go up, get a ticket. We'll catch you up there later. Hey, I found a travelator. It's 8 a.m. The gates have just opened. The gate, not the, the actual park gates, but the gates for the car park. So that's probably the first, I don't know, 40, 50 cars. They're all piling in behind me. The sun's not helping out, I'm afraid. Um, they'll be rolling up in a car for the day. 8am they start allowing you in. I don't know what the queue's like at the gates beforehand, but you know, we're still on the uh, final travelator up to the, uh, the pet centre where you get your parking ticket, which is that building just over there. Okay, so we've just been in <coughs> and uh, the card machine's not working. Just a, a note as well, they only accept card payments for parking tickets, no cash. Um, it's actually currently not working. She's just told me that your parking ticket is valid from when you buy it until 10am uh, the following morning. But as the machine's not working, 
she told me not to worry um, I could just buy one a little later or maybe even tomorrow and if I get a note on my camper window not to worry about it um, there would be no issue because the machine's broken 40 quid saving Ding! just as a note for people with solar as we've been walking along we've noticed that in the morning if you were to park in the end two bays on any of these all the way down including where the the, the vans are parked all the campers these last two bays get solar in the morning and everything else falls into shadow and I'm in the I'm in the coach park over here but same thing one two three yeah there's like three or four there that are getting sun so yeah if you wanted any sun you can see the line of the shadow it'd be fairly useful to get yourself in one of the first two spots if you need solar <laughs>